Yes, we are moving south to Lithuania. I've been in Vilnius so many times. I know a lot of uh, documentary filmmakers from Lithuania, and every time I'm there, I said, what about this structure? You have a structural problem. You don't have a, 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 a film center like in Latvia. You don't have a film foundation. Now it's called the Film Institute in Estonia. What happens? Now they have it. And here's the director of this new film center, Rolandas. Please come and tell us what you have in mind. Applause. Good afternoon. I'll stay true to, the, to today's uh, tradition of delivering my speech in uh, Russian. It's difficult to, uh, to speak after so, so many uh, interesting projects uh, on behalf of a, uh, um, of a public institution. But I'm, I'm going to 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 be uh, to be relevant to the topic of this uh, uh, festival of this forum and I'm going to uh, to present the place the documentary occupies in our activity about the uh, connection of television and documentary and I'll give a couple of examples of using cross media and what we do in this respect and a couple of ideas of uh, New, new possibilities uh, of uh, documentary funding. Okay. What, what our film center is all about, since we are in the context of the Northern Dimension area, you all know what, what is a cinema institution in Stockholm or in Copenhagen. So we are looking at somewhere uh, all the time and creating our film, film center. We looked to to Nordic countries, and we drew on that example, example of Nordic countries. And to be, it's difficult to be concise when talking about what we do, but we are a quite a young institution. We inaugurated our film center at the end of last year. We have to perform a number of functions uh, and roughly promotion of uh, uh, Lithuanian film, investment in film, education and financing. Uh, I placed the financing uh, on the last part purposefully because we understand it as a tool but not as a as an aim in itself, not as a main purpose of our activity. But to be true, much of the, of the industry uh, asks themselves uh, where are the money and how can we uh, access it. Further about our functions, I have to say that we also analyze uh, statistics. We run a film registry. We train professionals and involve in uh, in law initiatives since we are are a uh, public agency uh, as part of a Minister of Culture. Everyone is interested in budget. Budget of our first season is uh, more than two and a half million euros, of which two-thirds we distribute in form of grants to promote and produce films. Speaking about documentary, I have to say that in 2012, I know that about 500 films, documentary films are made in, in Russia, and as opposed to Russia. So again, in the year 2012, we produced whole of 12 documentaries. This year, the Film Center of Lithuania is uh, supporting four, four documentaries, and seven of another documentaries are being produced. So you can compare the whole context of financing. All in all, we have about 25 projects that are 
are being uh, uh, completed and about 10 projects that are in, in their on the initial stage. Lithuanian film industry has very strong traditions, uh, including uh, documentary, and as one of the strategic uh, fields of uh, our film center is support uh, film making. Based on that, uh, Lithuanian filmmakers can, can take pride in having many dedicated, dedicated partners in many countries. So much uh, of movies are made with the support uh, from uh, different countries. Uh, uh, result, the result being a co-production of between Lithuanian and French, Lithuanian and Finnish um, uh, maker, filmmakers, and so on. Since Lithuania is a small market. And if we want to engage ourselves in big projects and have a wider audience, co-production is the only way out. And we have to, to work uh, in that direction. Speaking about uh, TV documentary, I, I can cite one example. Three years ago, two ministers decided to, to set out a special pro program devoted to documentary films. One of them uh, was an edu educational minister, the other one was Minister of Culture, but their initi initiatives was not much of political in nature, but they were friends, so they had less problems uh, in agreeing many things. So while I'm talking about that, this year is the last one that this program is running. So the Minister of Education said that we have done everything possible on our part and we're going to discontinue our participation in this uh, project, so we have to bring together these two uh, ministers once again. In this program, we had one film consisting of six parts by Milos. The film was screened at various festivals and on TV stations. Other one more project, uh, one more warmer more film in this uh, project in this program. Uh, speaks uh, about Radzivil dynasty, which in old Lithuania was a noble and prominent uh, family. What can we do about this program now? I have already spoken to our ministers, asking them to talk to the educational minister. But I understand that uh, intergovernmental inter and interagency cooperation uh, might be challenging. And I hope we'll, we'll find a decision in October, find a way out in decision. Probably we'll create, come up with our own initiative, inviting commercial TV, TV channels and public TV stations, inviting producers to send their ap ap applications uh, while having one a partner in form of one of uh, TV stations. As already was mentioned today, TV is going to be a player in the distrib distribution of uh, documentaries. Given that, we have to uh, take that aspect into account. Another prime example I want to give you concerns transmedia. Our film center is also in charge of uh, of, uh, of the part of European program media. This is, not, this is not a specific function in the frameworks of which we not only distribute information, but 
uh, have our own initiatives. Uh, we have held a conference for three years, ZAN, a specific name. Now that this program is part of our center, we, are, we continue working on that. The format of that conference uh, consists of two uh, elements. So the context of that conference uh, resembles the, the context of this conference. We, we invite speakers uh, and experts uh, from different companies, experts that are involved in cross-media media projects. And we, we, we set aside a specific uh, day for a uh, wide audience so, so that people for the advertisement uh, industry and from other industries, uh, including directors, can come and uh, discuss their professional, professional questions, can meet, can network and, and discuss the uh, topical issue. So typically after the conference, we uh, arranged two days seminars, after, after which experts normally select uh, uh, about ten candidates uh, that the experts uh, worked with them more specifically on their contact. Many open questions are being dealt with. Uh, many ask what cross-media is all about, so where it goes. So we don't have final or uh, conclusive answers, but we have to still work on it. And one of the forms of finding answers to the questions is, is an, an international conference. So those who have a project of that kind might uh, participate in a uh, workshop, which is going to be our fourth one in June next year. And in February, we're going to have specific dates when it's going to take place and about the possibilities to join, to be one of the members. Please uh, visit our website uh, so you will find all relevant information there. One final thing I want to tell you uh, is about uh, financing the documentaries. On the first side, it's probably not directly related to that, but there is an aspect which is called in English tax incentives for, for, uh, t for uh, film production. This mechanism is going to kick in starting next year. So the model, per se, isn't aimed at, uh, at having big productions, which is the, uh, the case in, in other countries. But this uh, uh, economic um, model, economic method uh, that is adapted in Lethe uh, means that the minimal sum is uh, 40, for, to produce one film is $42,000. So that uh, so the na national filmmakers uh, can, can be benefited from that, can benefit from that. So, so in fu any, any full-length uh, documentary can be a uh, participant of that uh, uh, program. So, so the, so the projects that cost no less than 42,000 euros can decrease their costs by 20 percent in, in Lithuania. So this is one of the aspects we are going to administer in Latvia starting the 1st January. The things I have mentioned uh, is not particularly a result of our uh, one year work, it's not, uh, I can't get all the credit for that, but after we appeared as an institution, we have our voice, our strong voice that we can talk on behalf of the, the film industry. 
which is very important, very relevant. And in the end, I'd like to, to tell you one thing and rather give you three practical examples of what we have had in Lithuania regarding uh, three projects in Lithuania that we have been supporting in Lithuania in terms of crowdfunding and cooperation with, with television. In, particular, in, in one particular instance, one young uh, film director, he financed uh, his film by two-thirds using crowdfunding capabilities, and to cover the last third, he turned to the state. So, and actually, the, so the, the, the fact that uh, he could cover two-thirds of, of, of the cost uh, through the means of crowd, crowdfunding, it was one of the arguments why the state covered the rest. So he was very, uh, very insisting and very persuasive. It's not probably the film that is will necessarily go to Berlin or to Cannes, but this is an example that uh, some of the younger generation think very progressively in terms of promoting their, um, their ideas. Uh, another example concerns uh, uh, the promotion of a prominent uh, producer as, and as many other institutions that award grants. We, as, as it happens elsewhere, uh, we give less money than requested. And to finance the completion of a social, socially relevant film, they, they lacked 10,000 euros. And after a long promotion company, uh, they were able to fundraise those 10,000 euros that were missing. All this means that even in un underdeveloped markets, these tools can can be of uh, of benefit and can be employed. That's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Rolandas. and. Um, We are very close to the debate hour, so uh, I would suggest that you sit down and wait and there will be answers for you, uh, questions for you, um, like the one that you will answer, the, the subject of this crowdfunding film that would be interesting to hear what, what that was actually.